Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been such a long time. I'm gonna be filming about my co-op experience at Northeastern University. I just felt like it was a good time to make a video like this because when I was a freshman and I was looking into Northeastern, I didn't even know anything about the co-op program and I sort of wish that someone had made a video or written about it so that I could have known more of what the process was like. Yeah, so let's just get into the video. So if you know what co-op is, it's basically just working for six months full time uh, during your academic career and we do this twice at your time at Northeastern so you end up having one year of experience. It's part of our curriculum basically. That being said, co-op is not mandatory, you don't have to do it. Um, it's just something that most students do and it's mostly the reason why kids end up coming to Northeastern and this just means that a lot of kids end up staying for five years because you're doing one year of experience and then four years of classes but some kids do take summer classes so that they don't have to stay for five years so it's not impossible to not stay for over the period of time that you were expecting. Um, in terms of for college, you don't pay for the year that you're in co-op. Usually you actually get paid. That being said, not all co-ops are paid, but um, the majority of them are. So you will be able to not pay tuition and get paid during this period of time. Usually co-op happens, you choose a cycle, so you can choose fall or spring. And um, that's typically the cycle that you're going to stick with the entire time. So uh, usually the first co-op happens in your second year. And I'm in a specific program, so my co-op cycle was already chosen for me and mine actually switches so I did fall co-op and my next coming co-op will be in the spring. So basically what this means is that my last co-op was during summer 2 so it started in July and I worked all the way till December at the end of the fall semester and that was a six month period of time. Um, and then typically if you were in any other major and you had chosen a fall cycle then your next co-op would be again in the fall so you would have done co-op one semester of classes and then you go back to co-op you can ask to defer for a later period of time if you feel that you're not ready for your second co-op yet or you want to take some kind of classes or if a co-op didn't reach back to you and you weren't offered a position so basically how the application process works, it's that it's exactly the same as applying for a normal job. We take a co-op class which tells you how to build your resume, how to um, interact during interviews, and all of the things that you need to know you are taught basically in this class. For co-op itself, the application process basically goes like uh, once you've gone through your first co-op class, you are approved and then you can open up Northeastern's career page. And this career page will have a bunch of companies, a bunch of listings of jobs that are related to your major. And you can choose which ones you like and you can apply. For my specific program, and I think for a lot of health science majors, um, and like nursing and pharmacy, we were only allowed to apply to four each, at least for the first round, and then... If you didn't get the one you wanted, then you can go and apply again to another four for your second round. So that's not the case for business students or computer science or engineering. I know many of my friends ended up applying to hundreds and hundreds of co-ops. They are basically applying to 10 a week, maybe more. And so it's very major dependent on the regulations, but you will learn that once you get into your co-op classes. So basically what you do, pick the jobs that you think are interesting, that you like, and then basically you just apply online. So you send them a resume, um, and then you send them a cover letter if they need it, and you send them references if they ask for it. Some of them do have GPA requirements, but from what I've seen, they've all been like 3.0. So as long as you have above 3.0, you're usually all set. So once you send that in, you sort of just wait for a call back. And then if they email you or call you, then they'll set up an interview with you. And then uh, once that's set, you'll go through the interviewing process, which is very normal. You dress like you're going on an interview, like have a button up and dress pants and all of those. And then you're just going to go through a normal process of interviewing. Interviews vary depending on your major. For my major, 
we didn't have any technical problems or anything. I was asked about, um, so I was working in a hospital and my hospital asked me like some theoretical situations where they were like, if you were working with their patient and the patient fell over or the patient stopped responding, what would you do? And you sort of have to like think that through and then give them an answer. And if they like that, then you'll get hired. Um, I was, since I was only allowed to apply to four, I was only asked to go to an interview for two of them. Um, for one of them, the interview was super short. I mean, okay, it was, it was a group interview at first, as in we sort of were given a tour of the hospital, and then after the uh, tour, we were doing individual interviews, but these individual interviews were only like five minutes, I would say, maybe ten. They were really, really short. I think they only asked three or four questions, and that was it. Um, but my second interview was a completely different experience. It was like 30 minutes of me just talking to my interviewer and then that's the place that I ended up working and I was really glad that I ended up there. You will get an opportunity to contact older classmen um, through the co-op class. Like they will give you a bunch of references that you can reach out to. So that's always a good resource. So my co-op experience, um, I ended up working at Brigham and Women's Hospital and I thought it was really, really fun. I worked as a pulmonary rehab uh, aide, so basically what I did was I worked with a lot of cystic fibrosis patients and I was able to do that independently, um, specifically because of this position. Uh, normally, a lot of our co-ops, especially in the medical fields, typically have to stay with a physical therapist the entire time if they want to touch a patient, work with the patient. But in Massachusetts, we are allowed to touch patients, so that is really great in terms of clinical experience. So that was something that I was really, really excited about. So when I worked here, I worked with a lot of cystic fibrosis patients, basically did chest physical therapy on them, which basically means that I was in a way hitting them so that they could get the mucus out so um, that was actually one of the best experiences of my life I've never worked in a hospital I've barely stepped foot in a hospital before I worked in one and it really changed my life and it changed the way I look at I looked at physical therapy because I've never even thought about working in a hospital my entire life and then suddenly now that's all I want to do so that's something that I really look forward to about co-op in general. It's that you shouldn't box yourself into thinking that you only want to go one way with this career, this major that you've chosen, because I've really changed my entire outlook on what I've wanted to do because of where I've worked. Um, some people end up changing majors after they're caught because they realize this isn't what they want to do for the rest of their lives and that's super super important like as great as finding what you want to do is it's also amazing to find out what you don't want to do like you don't want to realize after you graduate that you hate the job that you're working in so I feel like co-op gives you that type of opportunity which is really a once in a life lifetime chance like you don't really get that in any other school even if you do like internships I feel like internships are different because you're not working there full-time for six months you're not doing necessarily what people in your company are doing but as a co-op I feel like you're much more integrated just because of how long you're going to be there most people only get to do at most a four-month summer internship and an internship isn't really the same thing as working full-time so I really loved what I did at Brigham and Women's Hospital and I feel like that's, I sort of found my passion and as weird as that sounds, like I sort of lost my passion for the sports aspect of physical therapy which is what I ended up going into physical therapy for and then I fell in love with this and I think that's fine, like I think that's really good because I've like discovered something that I really really liked for myself. Though I do want to make clear um, as a co-op, you do get a lot of scut work, and if you don't know what scut work is, basically it's the work that nobody wants to do, like you're gonna have to, at least as a physical therapy aide, go in, like you're gonna have to run through the hospital in the mornings and like look for equipment, like physical therapy equipment, like walkers and stuff like that, and bring them back to, um, the rehab area that we stay in. So that's like a little bit annoying, but then like once you get used to it, it's just 
becomes part of your routine. I think it really sucked in the beginning because I felt like I was doing a lot of that scut work and not doing a, as an actual physical therapy student. Like I wasn't really learning from doing those things. But as time passed and we got used to getting in a routine, it sort of became just like a thing that we knew we had to do when we did it. And then we were able to go and see patients the rest of the day. And so it wasn't really like a big deal. Um, but don't be discouraged if you're doing a lot of the, the work that nobody wants to do. Like, even if you're a business student, like, don't be discouraged if you're doing Excel sheets and whatever. Like, everyone has to start somewhere and, like, slowly you'll build up and get to where you want to be. Like, this is part of growing and learning and working. So, yeah. I think another really great thing about my experience in the hospital is that I got to work with so many different physical therapists. Um, being a pulmonary rehab aide was really great because... I got to not only experience the pulmonary part of physical therapy, but I also still got to work with other physical therapists, um, like on oncology services or neuroscience, um, neurosurgery and all of those. Like, I feel like I was never exposed to anything in the hospital before and suddenly I was able to see so many different facets of it that like I've discovered a whole new world of physical therapy. So that is like... A crazy thing for me like I didn't even imagine that this was something that I could even do in the future but it is the best part about working with so many different physical therapists is that you get to see how different physical therapists do their work and that means that you can take the parts that you like like the way that they treat their patients the way that they interact with their patients you get to pull things that you like and make those yours I know that sounds really weird, but it's like, as a student, we don't have the techniques or the same ability to share our experiences and like take the patient's experiences and understand it the way that these physical therapists who have been working for years understand. And I feel like being able to see all these different physical therapists interact with their patients and see how they do similar treatments but differently is really really important when it comes to honing in your own skills later on um, as a physical therapist so that is just like a very exciting aspect of the co-op and I feel like that can be applied to any major like you don't have to be working in a hospital as a physical therapist to take techniques from other people like you can see how one coworker does something and if you really like the way that they've dealt with a situation like you can follow through with that as well and follow them and do that later on. All in all I think co-op is just a really good learning experience. I know that a lot of people say like you can just do an internship and you totally can but I also just feel like especially if you're somebody who's like me that isn't as out there like I won't go and search for an internship by myself most of the time. Like I feel like if I see other people doing it I would do it but I'm not really the most active person as in I wouldn't actively go and search for an internship if I didn't feel it was really, really necessary. Um, but co-op is really a way for me to just go and do all of these things and it's just part of my schooling. Like I just go with it and it was sort of like, sort of amazing because I never would have gotten this opportunity in any other school and I like, I've never been more happy in my life to actually have chosen Northeastern to be the university that I'm attending. So I'm going to be applying to my second co-op this fall. Um, things are going to be a little different with COVID, but hopefully things go smoothly. I'm probably going to vlog what it's like. So if you want to see what co-op is, um, applying to co-op is like in real life, you can follow me on that journey and just, I don't know, join in subscribe so then you can watch me apply for my second co-op and hopefully this will help you figure out if you want to come to northeastern if this is the right school for you if the co-op program sounds like something you're interested in um another side note i am technically an international student like i have an american passport so i'm not affected directly by By the US um, new policy of like getting rid of the exemptions for um, all of the visas but if you are an international student and you still plan on coming to the United States uh, Northeastern really might be a good choice for you if that's still um, 
an option in your mind just because you do get this co-op experience it doesn't matter if you're international or not you will get to work and just having like a year of experience on your hand is probably better than or easier than looking for other internships that you may not have the opportunity to get but that's just a little side note so i hope that you enjoyed this video and that it was helpful if you have any questions go ahead and leave them down below um i might post another video about the, the co-op process the application process with other major people um, people with other majors so that you're not just getting this uh point of view from a physical therapy major which this major doesn't even exist for undergrads anymore so Probably not as helpful as I want it to be, but I hope it gave some type of clarity. Yeah, so have a good day. Bye!